Welcome back into the Osmo YouTube channel. Guys, bringing you some week 16 NFL picks for Jock Market. And this show, this video is sponsored by Jock Market, which has turned fantasy sports into a stock exchange. Forget waiting until the end of the game to make money. Jock Market allows you to buy and sell shares of players in real time for real money with guaranteed payouts for all the shares at the end of the night. They do have daily markets for NBA, MLB, NHL, and PGA, so not just NFL. You can make real money every hour, every minute, every second of any match or game with Jock Market. And what you do, you use the pregame IPO to pick up shares of your favorite players. Then you buy, sell, or hold them during the game, and it's all based on your own analysis. That's the best part. You download the app to get started. Use our exclusive Osmo promo code, Osmo, for up to a $50 bonus on your first deposit. This is an exclusive offer only for the Osmo community. So make sure to take advantage of it today, guys. That's Osmo for a $50 bonus on Jock Market. And for this video, I have three picks that you should be looking at for the Jock Market streets today. And we got the New Orleans Saints. We got the Miami Dolphins, a real Monday night barn burner. This one does have big playoff implications. And for Jock Market, for fantasy stuff, I want to start by looking at Ian Book, the starting quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. Yes, Taysom Hill ruled out with COVID. Ian Book, third stringer, about to start. Guy's got some athleticism, and I do think that you will see a Saints offense that is very similar in style to when Taysom Hill was running it, which is good because that means the quarterback position is going to pick up some rush yards. Uh, Ian Book averaged for over 40 yards rushing in his final year of college. He had nine rushing touchdowns there as well. Look, he played one preseason game, but he did have 126 passing yards on nine attempts. Again, I think you'll see a lot of play action, RPOs, running the football with the quarterback from Ian Book and Look, he's got to be a better passer than Taysom Hill, right? Uh, his, his preseason, his college stuff all does point to Book perhaps being a better passer than Taysom Hill. I think Ian Book can rack up some fantasy points in this game. And for Jock Market, the IPOs, I don't think they're going to be that competitive. So I do like looking at Ian Book in this game. Again, we're expecting a close game, probably not a ton of points. But if he racks up a ton of rush yards, maybe gets even over 100 passing yards, that could be enough to really put you in a top three position at the end of the night on Jock Market. Let's stick with the New Orleans Saints side because I think their offense is going to be very concentrated with Ian Book at quarterback. And I think you're going to see a lot of usage from Alvin Kamara in this game. And that is the other Saints player I think you should be targeting. Obviously, he had over 120 rush yards a couple games against the Jets. We should not be shocked that Alvin Kamara got shut down by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they shut down every running back. Miami is not Tampa Bay. They're not as good against the rush. They're not even close. 13th worst yards per carry against. I think the volume is going to be there for Kamara. The Saints, one thing they need to do, they need to negate the Miami Dolphins' pass rush. And how do you do that? You run the ball with Kamara, a lot of short passes. And again, I think Ian Book is probably a more proficient passer than Taysom Hill. I think you're going to see Kamara get used a little bit more in the pass game here as well. Lots of quick throws. Negate that Dolphins' pass rush. Look for Alvin Kamara to push for 20-plus touches. I think you'll see a game more like the one he had against the Jets than the one against Tampa Bay. Don't be afraid to target Kamara here. He is the best fantasy player in this game by far as well. Let's go to the Miami Dolphins side for one pick in this game. I know the Dolphins are a solid team. Their offense can be really tough to target, though. They rotate quarterbacks. They, you know, their, their wide receiver core has been banged up. COVID, who's in, who's out. Jalen Waddle should be back in this game. And if Jalen Waddle is starting, this is a very, very good matchup. Um, good slot receivers, good secondary receivers, especially have given the New Orleans Saints a ton of trouble here. They've given up the fifth most receiving yards to opposing wide receivers in the league. I don't really trust Devontae Parker to beat out Marshawn Latimer, but Jalen Waddell should be going against Chauncey Garden Gardner Johnson a lot in this game. That is the guy you want to target for the New Orleans Saints. Waddell is Tua's favorite target. He absolutely just fits with Tua. He's a good, accurate quarterback on those short intermediate throws. Doesn't like to throw down field a lot. I think you'll see Jalen Waddell push for double digit targets in this game. Again, some must win for Miami. They're really not that good at running the ball. Jalen Waddle has the best matchup on the board. You're gonna want a piece of him. He is due back from COVID, looks good to go. So those are gonna be our three picks. Again, I do like targeting Dorley and Saint side of the ball, but it's gonna be concentrated. I think Ian Book, Alvin Kamara is where you go. You don't want those wide receivers. And then Jalen Waddle on the other side for Miami has a fantastic matchup. Those are gonna be our three picks for Jock Market. Week 16, Monday Night Football. Make sure you smash that like button before you go. Subscribe to the Osmo YouTube channel if you haven't already. Most importantly, have yourselves a great Monday Night Football. I'm Jeff Ulrich, and we'll talk to you again soon.